Well, welcome back to Stephen Does Cool Things. This is episode two, The Master Plan. And I'm talking about my Telecaster guitar build here. So this is the body and my plan. What we're gonna do with this is basically kind of a burst stain where the, the inside's gonna be a lighter green and then it's gonna be darker green around here and then kind of black on the outside. I'm going to do, my plan is to do some white uh, faux binding around the edges here along both sides of this to give it a really vintage classic look. Uh, and then I'll do the same kind of burst pattern on the back. And I've done some testing on some wood and this is where I wanna get some feedback from you guys, the general public. I wanna see what you guys think. So for instance, these two parts right here have not been pre-treated. There's been no pre-treatment on these. I just straight up sanded and then stained and tried to do a little bit of a burst on them. This one, I went with the dark color first and then went on top with a lighter color Meanwhile, with this one, I went light, then dark, then dark, and I think that came out with a little bit better look. But even better, I like these two that have been pre-treated with a Minwax pre-stain is what I've done with that. Um, so that is what that has done is that's made it a little bit more even looking. It's brought out the grain just a little bit more than you would see over here. Uh, plus just the stain kind of pops a little bit better on those. I tried some more experimental stuff here in the middle. With this one, I stained it black, then sanded it down. Obviously, I didn't let the grain soak in quite well enough, and it did a very uneven job of sanding it. Um, so it doesn't look the best, but I think you can at least see kind of right here what I was going for, which is a little bit more of that kind of that bursted look, but also bring out the grain just a little bit more on it. This side, what I plan to do here, and we may do another video after this, I was thinking of staining it green, which that green stain itself looks really good. And this was not pre-treated, believe it or not. Um, but then I saw a technique on YouTube that I'd seen about putting some black shoe polish across the grain, letting that soak in, and then wiping the excess off there. Uh, and that would bring out a really black grain on that as well. So. I would love to know what everybody kind of thinks. We've got A, B, C, D, E, and F. And uh, yeah, I, I would love some feedback on that, but some, some thoughts about what I did here with the products that I've got on hand. So I took some very basic paints that I got at Michael's and Walmart, spent a total of $1.50 on these paints, just very inexpensive and I went with the matte finished paints as opposed to the glossier paints because I want this to have a little bit of that satin look. Then I took these paints and I actually combined them with a polycrylic protective finish and it did about 50-50 and what that did is they came up with more of a stain instead of a paint. And that's how we got this look that we have here on the boards and so that's what I'm planning to do with the body of the guitar right here. Then the plan after that is I will finish it with a Watco Danish oil. Based on everything that I've looked at online and some of the YouTube videos I've been watching, this will give me that really clean satin finish at the end of it. Uh, and then after that, I'll go on with a very thin coat of a wipe-on polyurethane. So that's the plan. I've been applying it with just your basic shop towels. These are about $2 at Walmart. I've gone very inexpensive with this whole thing so far, as far as my testing goes. How that'll translate with the body of the guitar, we're gonna find out. That's gonna be a lot of fun to watch and see. One other thing I'm gonna do with the neck, the neck is a one-piece neck, so it doesn't have the little fender skunk stripe on the back of it, but I happen to be a big fan of that look, so I'm going to take some wood stain and, and put a faux skunk stripe on the back of that as well. That way it'll look a lot like my Stratocaster that I already own, uh, and it'll have a little more of that fender look. But I'm not gonna fake it. I'm gonna put my own logo that you see at the intros of my videos that you'll see in the lower left-hand corner of the video right here. That's gonna be what we put on the headstock. So yeah, it'll be my own, but it's gonna have obviously a lot of green to it because go UNT, go mean green. And I'll be excited to see how this finishes up. So let me know in the comments, tell me what you think. And the next episode after this, we will start getting ready to go with this body and we're gonna put our plan in motion. Thank you for watching and take care.